Can another brand take over Pioneer as being the DJ industry standard? It's such a weird thing to think about because it feels like Pioneer has been taking over the market and has just been the club standard now for such a long period of time that you can't really imagine any anything else or another brand coming in and taking over. But you've got to say that Pioneer have kind of plateaued a little bit over recent times. You know, they haven't really released a new flagship player. They've not released anything that's going to take over the market, anything that's kind of really took people's notice. And, you know, the people like Denon and, and other companies have started to release some really good products. And, you know, you've got to say that maybe Pioneer's time's coming to an end. If you want to find out more about my opinion and uh, get into a bit more of a discussion, then stick around for the rest of the video. If you are new to the channel and do subscribe with notifications on, and if you're feeling extra cheeky, drop the video a like. Yo guys, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. I am DJ Kiz Walsh. Today we're going to be talking about Pioneer DJ and whether they can maintain their kind of legacy and their current dominance in the DJ market. So it's obviously worth going on record that I'm a massive Pioneer DJ fan. I, I have a piece of Pioneer equipment myself. I've played on tons of Pioneer equipment and generally speaking, I do think that they do have the best equipment on the market. Just of recent times, I feel like they've gone a little bit stale. Especially with this new release of the XZ, I felt like it was just missing a little bit of something and I felt like they could have done a little bit more. You know, the fact that it's only two channels and the fact that, you know, you need to plug in external players and the fact that it doesn't analyze tracks that haven't already been run through software is a little bit stinky. Like, there's just some stuff about it that just makes me feel like Pioneer holding stuff back. Like, why aren't they working hard to give you all those great features, to make it as powerful, make it as good as possible? And I think the reason why they're doing that is because they're holding stuff back to make their flagship CDJ system be the best one. And I don't like that. I don't rate that as like, you know, respect for your customers and stuff. I think like it's a bit of a stinky thing to do. Obviously the CDJ system with, you know, the DJM mixer, that's obviously a very, very good, powerful piece of software. And that's been, you know, running the clubs now for a number of years. But maybe it's time for a different brand or a different system to come in and just take over. You know, I'm, I'm sure Pioneer have something planned over the next year or two to, you know, reassert their dominance in the clubs, club scene. And, you know, by no means have they dropped off, by no means have people stopped using CDJs and all the Pioneer equipment. But I just think they're kind of plateauing a little bit. I think that they've kind of reached a point and they don't really know what to do next. You've got people like Denon who just released their Prime 4 all-in-one DJ system. Uh, which is very very powerful you know it analyzes tracks you can play to two different rooms you can use four uh, channels on the one standalone system it's a very very good you know piece of equipment and pioneer haven't got that you know the xz was a good piece of equipment it is a good piece of equipment but it isn't as powerful as the prime 4 and the prime 4 is cheaper and it's one of those where what's pioneer got planned you know what is the plan if pioneer have got planned a four deck all-in-one system four players with a mixer in the middle, then fair play to them. I cannot wait for that day. I've said in the previous video that the day that comes will be amazing and that thing will take over the market. That that system will be what everybody wants. But until that day, Pioneer probably will still be the club standard because now that is just what everybody knows. You know, Pioneer kind of took over with their systems because you know the USB, the C, it just at the time it, they were the best and it made the most sense to switch to Pioneer. Pioneer haven't always been the DJ industry standard. You know, it's only kind of over recent years that they've took taken over. Of course, the the CDJ setup is great to play on, right? It's got good features. I do think that it's kind of a little bit old-fashioned now. Nobody plays CDs anymore. You know, I've. I, I can't think of anyone who uses the CD bit on the CDJs. You know, it's all about USB now. You know, they need to be making these things as thin and as small in terms of, you know, weight and as possible, but have loads of creative features on there because as we get further into this, you know, DJ whirlwind every single year, developing and developing, people are getting more and more creative and we want more and more creative techniques. We want to have every creative technique available to us on an all-in-one system. We want the performance pads to feature all different creative sorts of techniques. We want every effect going on, on the knobs in the mixer section. We want to have everything at our disposal to do the best job we possibly can. Now, one thing I will say about Pioneer is that they are absolutely killing the entry-level market. You know, releasing stuff like the SB3, the DDJ400 and the DDJ200, in my opinion, those are the best entry-level controllers on the market. 
you know, the 400 coming with a full copy of record box, the 200 being able to be used on a phone, you know, and I believe the 400 now can be as well. You know, those entry level controllers are massive for getting people into DJing, how revolutionary they are to kind of bringing new people in, getting kids involved, bringing teenagers in. They are so, so important. But in terms of the higher end market, in terms of what they're doing at the top with the, with the players and the all-in-one systems, I think that they're just lagging behind a little bit. They haven't really come up with anything revolutionary for a while and they haven't really done anything amazing to like wow us. Sure, the XZ is a really good system and if you're a CDJ setup fan, then that is gonna be a nice all-in-one system for you to get. It's a lot cheaper than a, you know, a CDJ setup and it makes sense for somebody that has played on CDJs or owns a pair of CDJs to transfer over to that XZ. But you've got to say, realistically, the XZ is just an all-in-one version of the CDJ system. It's not an upgrade, you know, there's not much new on there. You know, of course there are screens in the middle of the jogs and there are performance pads on the bottom, but realistically speaking, there's not too much difference between the CDJ setup and the new XZ. Now, you could see that as a positive because the CDJ setup is really expensive and you're getting that for a cheaper price. But how I see it is they've not actually done anything different. You know, this is years and years of work and they've not really come up with anything new. Now, that's not a diss on Pioneer because they've still done a good job for bringing us such good value products especially with the XZ, it's a really good value product, but there's nothing new on there. You know, we want something revolutionary, we want something that's gonna change the game, something that we can get excited about, and they just haven't been able to do that. So I do think there is room in the market for another brand to come in and take over. You know, Denon are looking very, very good. Their software is decent, and the features that they're kind of introducing are revolutionary. Being able to play two different rooms on one system, like the Denon Prime 4 can, is crazy. Like, that is something revolutionary that is something that is going to be hopefully massive because you know a dj can be in the main room doing a house set and he can also have some lounge music on in the, in the bar where, where people are relaxing it's such a good thing for like a club owner and, and a dj that you, you know you don't need to have two separate djs you can just pay one dj a decent amount of money and he can dj two rooms that is revolutionary in this uh, dj scene so at the moment pioneer is definitely safe at the top of the food chain they still obviously still own all the clubs and the XZ now probably going to take over the all-in-one system market. But I'm just a little bit disappointed. I want something more. I want something revolutionary from uh, Pioneer. And I hope that it comes out soon. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys agree. Tell me your thoughts and opinions on this matter. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you are new. Drop the video a like as well. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.